So today we're going to be returning to Breathing for Balance as our midweek breathing practice. I'd just like to invite you to start off just by closing down your eyes. For anything like me, your brains may be going in lots of directions today. It's just a really nice place to pause. And just switch that Tasmanian devil whirlwind of a brain off for a moment. Just close down your eyes and take three long, deep, steadying breaths into your abdomen. Sometimes that's all that we need as a reset for our nervous system. Just those three long, steadying breaths. And just allow yourself with your eyes still closed to just bathe in the afterglow of that. Just really enjoy that feeling of ease and balance that comes with just allowing yourself to breathe fully and deeply. At this time of year, we're thinking about giving and receiving a lot. Lots of us are really good at giving, but not so good at receiving. So just allow your breath to give to you what you need in this moment. Let's bring some harmony and fill your cup for the day or the evening. Just take a moment to really notice how your body feels, how your breath feels. You might like to take your attention to a single point on your body. And just hold your awareness there. How does your breath feel in the tip of your big toe? The palm of your hand. Just hold your attention there, feeling how the breath moves that part of your body. And just begin to broaden your attention out so that you can feel into the whole of your body, the balance, releasing any tension that you might be feeling in your shoulders, your neck, your jaw. And just using your awareness to perhaps adjust your posture so that you're growing tall through the head, settling your spine over your sitting bones, make sure your knees are tilted forward of your pelvis. Just feel the breath bringing balance to your body. You're going to take some full, deep breaths, imagining the breath coiling up from your feet on the ground, into your belly, then the diaphragmatic space at the bottom of the lungs, and then finally the top of your chest, drawing that grounding energy up from the floor of the earth. Pausing at the top and then releasing it back down from the chest to your diaphragm, to your belly and out through the floor. Feeling that breath, drawing all of that energy up as you breathe in. And then releasing it back down to the ground, 
in this reciprocal relationship. Pulling up nutrients and care and security through your feet. Feeling it rise through your body. Filling you right up. And then springing the exhale, free, releasing the energy back down to the floor, the ground, the earth. Imagining it like a channel of light moving up through the center of your body and then releasing back down, that light traveling down and out through the soles of your feet. We are supported by the earth and we support the earth in turn, giving and receiving. And just bring your awareness back to your abdominal region. You might like to take your hands and place them on your belly. Just begin to explore this region so containing the breath in your body and allowing your belly to move out as you breathe in and in as you breathe out. Perhaps imagining like a balloon swelling in your abdomen as you breathe in and then drawing back towards your spine as you breathe out. There should be no force with the breath, fluid and easeful, allowing the inhale to melt into the exhale. Perhaps tilting your pelvis forward slightly on the inhale and back on the exhale, if you find that that assists with breathing. Imagining that balloon becoming bigger and brighter with each inhale and then releasing slowly like air coming out of a balloon on the exhale but with control and ease. And if you feel comfortable here just begin to bring a little bit more spaciousness to the breath. Imagine that space has three dimensions. So to inhale, the abdomen is expanding sideways and back and forth, allowing you to breathe more fully and deeply. Try perhaps to make your inhale and your exhale equal length. So if you're breathing in for four and out for three at the moment, breathing for four and out for four as well. Bringing spaciousness to the breath so that it's equal and balanced and smooth and deep. And bring your grounded and stable in the relationship between you and the earth. I'm just going to take this practice into a box breathing. So still breathing into the belly. You're breathing in for four, hold for four, out for four, hold for four. So I'll count you in. So in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, 
two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Now return to the count by yourself. Being aware not to clench or hold yourself as you hold the breath in or out of the body. And just checking any tension that arises. Perhaps dropping the count down if you find that it's putting too much strain on the breath. Also, don't be afraid of feeling like you're perhaps being tested a little bit. It's just the body's reaction to holding the breath slightly, the buildup of carbon dioxide in the body. And that's okay. It's actually calming your nervous system down. So don't panic. Just go with it. And allow yourself to feel these new sensations, this new kind of breath. Knowing that you are receiving as you breathe in and releasing anything that it's not of service to you as you breathe out. Finding your flow and rhythm and balance. You are stable. If you find your attention wandering just Bring your awareness back to the count, back to the breath. Don't beat yourself up about it. In for four, hold for four, out for four, hold for four. And then take two more rounds of this box breathing at your own pace. And then just release that breath. Just enjoy that feeling of calm and balance in your body. And then again, just taking a moment to really reaffirm that grounding, taking a long, deep breath in, imagining energy rising up through your feet, through your belly, through your diaphragm, through your chest, pausing at the top and then <sighs> release it back out with a sigh. Really enjoy that sigh, that feeling of releasing tension in your body. And again, drawing that energy up from the earth. Pause at the top and then <sighs> sigh it out. Release any built up anxiety or worry. Sigh it out. Best way of resetting yourself.
and just bring your awareness to your heart center and the balance in the body. Just imagine this as a glowing space. Even in the depths of darkness and cold in winter, our hearts can act like sun catcher, like a crystal hanging in a window that makes rainbows scatter across the room. Your heart, when we hold our focus there, can do the same. So just breathe into this heart space. Just your normal breath, not changing it, knowing that this is just where you're at. And hold it in your heart and I just want you to think of one kind thing that you can say to yourself today. One kind thing, something that you can give back to yourself that you can receive. Maybe a compliment. Maybe you could be brave and say, I love you. Pretty difficult thing to say sometimes. I love you to yourself. And just imagine that crystal, that sun catcher in your chest, just sending that light throughout your whole body so that it's glowing with love and acceptance and grounding and safety. Filling you up from the top of your head, down to your palms, and then out through your feet. Golden warming light that's filling your body. And just continue to breathe through this. Noticing perhaps the difference between how light and deeply relaxed you are compared to when you first sat down today. And if nothing else, thank yourself for taking this time, this space, to press pause. Really feel in this dark evening when I'm practicing the light that comes with just drawing our attention to the breath, into our heart space. And when you're ready, just start to return your attention back to the room back to your body, wiggling fingers, wiggling toes, and then slowly blinking open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that's helped you to turn off the busyness and find a little bit of balance in your day. Um, I'll be doing some classes over Christmas, so I'll let you know what the program is when I do. Have a beautiful evening.